Hi, welcome to Roleplay Cafe. This is John. We are back again with another session of Alien. Uh, we have Doom playing Yoko and Todd playing Kip. Uh, Dell is again not with us. Hopefully he's going to come back next week. Uh, but we are picking up with our last session, Todd, would you say this was 18 session? 17. 18? 17. 17. I've gone now. Um, so uh, <clears throat> we are going to pick up with the crew arriving back at the mother colony with the refugees and cryostasis. They brought them uh, <clears throat> away from the, um, the colony where they were staying with the cliff dweller, uh, former colonists, mm -hmm. and uh, they escaped. Uh, these refugees have escaped the clutches of Mother Michaela and the children of the two divine. And so we are arriving back at the mother colony. Mm -hmm. um, so I am going to... Why don't we... Do you guys want to jump fast forward straight to the arrival at the colony, or do we just want to do we do you want to do stuff up in um, yeah up up you know orbit, up up with the space station. yeah up in the orbit yes with uh, <sighs> you know with the main ship before the the Ilyanla. if you want to do anything up there uh, right. before you go down. Um, you, I don't know you, what you're planning on doing with these colonists. Can you remind um, us what the state of the Illidania was when we left it? Like, it was under control, and the what we had done was taken the UPP rebellion contingent on the Illidania and, and delivered them back to the planet-side mother colony, right? Yes, the... yes. So there were... There were some of these uh, rebels on the Ilyanla, and you and I believe it was Yoko kind of talked them down, got them to surrender, and you turned them over to the governor uh, to be fairly tried for their crimes. Uh, the Ilyanla is still uh, under control of the governor. Uh, you know, you get, uh, you make contact with them. Uh, the rebellion is all but squ uh, eliminated. Mm -hmm. uh, there are still some remaining factions, and the governor has expressed concerns over the fact that uh, some of the rebels may be feigning reintegration into the colony and that there might be some, uh, you know, under kind of insurgency type thing that uh, may erupt again. But uh, it seems like most of them have been arrested or killed during the fighting. Uh, but the uh, general is nowhere to be found. Hmm. He has was not amongst what they were considering the command center of... Uh, you know, of his rebellion. Uh, so they don't know where he is. Okay. What was his name again? Uh, General oh. Orlin, or no, not Orlin. Uh, Nurlin, I'm sorry. Nurlin. N U R, yeah, N U R A L A N Ozolinski. O Z O L I N S K I. Bozolinski? <laughs> Oh, Why don't I spell it? Just, no, you don't you spell it. I, I'm going to spell it any way I want. But I'm saying, wait, Bozolinski? Bozolinski. Bozolinski. There's no B oh, oh. anywhere in his name. <laughs> Bozolinski, yes. Bozolinski. Sorry, you know what? I'm going to call him Bozolinski. <laughs> sure, yeah. I'd say, you know, that's a good way to get under his skin. You know? That's right. <laughs> Bozolinski. Okay, I pick a side. All right. <laughs> For sure. <laughs> Okay. All right. So, yeah. <laughs> uh, so, so I guess at the end of the day, if, that, if what you're asking, uh, Dune was, you can, I mean, you have free reign of the Ilyanla if you want to 
Uh, if you want to do anything up there, you could check in with uh, the scientists that were evaluating the samples that Dr. Bircher turned over. Uh, in fact, if we want to say Dr. Bircher is off, you know, dealing with that. Yeah, um, sounds like a Dr. Bircher you know, problem. We could, <laughs> yeah, we could, we could, you know, tell Dell that's what he was doing. Uh, and we could, you know, pick up when he reconvenes with us as to good. what he discovered. We can send Dell off and then head to deliver our reports to the Mother Colony leadership, mm -hmm. Governor. Okay. Or liaison. <laughs> so, what what do you want to do with all of the colonists, though? Can't we leave I mean, them... the refugees? Uh, um, we're... Can't we? Go ahead. Well, do we have to wake them up right now? Oh, we can leave them in cryo. <laughs> yeah. Well, um, uh... I mean, you could. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I mean, what? It, it, uh, less resources being used right time and then, until we can decide how they're going to be inter integrated into the colony here, or how that is going to be decided. I mean, I right? imagine we would follow a near identical process to the process, whatever procedure we rolled with for the other refugees, the, go yeah, the Gorham the, colony. The Gorham colony guys. Yeah. Yeah. So. I don't remember what we did with them. What did we do with them? Uh, so <laughs> you you woke them up from cryostasis, uh, and then they went. You, in fact, all of you did the same thing because of you know the, your encounter with those worm things. You all went through a decontamination process okay, using right. uh, the information that Doctor Bircher communicated to the science crew on the Ilyangla. Uh, so there was basically a decontamination system that was set up in, like, you know, the umbilical cord thing that connects the two ships. Mm -hmm. um, and it was a slow process, but eventually all of you went through it and to ensure that you were not bringing anything uh, unseemly on board. Uh, okay. So I think if anything, if anyone on our ship is going to test positive for worm aliens then we should probably start there but if everyone's just hunky dory fine and, and every you know everything's negative we don't need to play through that <laughs> yeah so i think that's what that's where um uh, we are i think like um it's a, we don't know where where to tell you we want to start john because we don't know where any conflict might arise as far, as far as we're concerned, or as far as I'm concerned, we are waking up the the refugees as normal, like sending them to integration camp, <laughs> whatever that is. Camp uh, integration, prob yes. Probably to make best friends with the um, Gorham colony folks. Um, and okay. Then, oh, or enemies. Um, and oh, so our, some of them may be from the Gorham colony, you don't know? Yeah, and we have um, we have the reports to deliver, which is our um, our recon, like all the information we got about the air purifiers, if we got any, and those colonists who are living on the jungle side, and also the refugees who are fleeing from Mother Michaela. So basically, we're going to return all that information, and and then if we don't encounter anything interesting up to that point, I don't have any reason to. Uh, wait, you know, dilly dally, doing anything else? Okay. Yeah. So, you're you're okay. You, you agree with that, Todd? Yep. Okay. So, uh, let's say, uh, you know, you you awake all of the refugees, and uh, they are, you know, they've been going through, you know. They're used to cryo sleep from you know all their travels, uh, mm -hmm. and especially running from Mother Michaela. So uh, they seem to adjust pretty quickly. Uh, unlike the Gorham Colony uh, survivors who haven't been in cryo sleep for decades, uh, the oldest of month of them. Right. Uh, and you start, you know, you, you start getting what little things they have together and directing them through the exit into the Iyanla and they go through the decontamination procedure. 
they're after six of them go through uh you get uh some sort of alarm during the decontamination process uh and there is seems to be some foreign object that the decon that the sensors are not actually able to identify they're flagging it but it does not meet the specifications that dr bircher uh gave them Hmm. the person that this is caused by uh is a relatively young man probably in his late 20s early 30s uh, he looks like he's in great shape. He doesn't have any, uh, he may be a little underfed during the, you know, while he was a refugee. Uh, but he doesn't seem sick. Uh, he doesn't have black eyes. Um, there's, there's nothing indicating a situation similar to what you found on the Goran colony. Um, all right, so... So he's holding something? Sorry, he... Where is this? No, he's not... Well, I mean, he has some belongings and stuff. Uh, but, yeah, no, I mean, he's not... He, it, did you ask if he's holding something? Sorry, the, the, there's a foreign object detected or something, right? An unidentifiable yes. object. Is this something that yes, this like, person is holding, or it's inside their body, or...? No, it's in their body. I'm sorry. Okay, okay, yes. okay. It, it, it's some sort of, you know... Like undeterminable growth? biological matter that's in his body, but okay. it doesn't meet the specifications of what Dr. Bircher found uh, on Gorham. It's different. Okay. Yes. Um, uh, uh, the, yeah. it, the scientists, uh, or actually, I guess at this point, it probably wouldn't be scientists. So the technician on the other side who, you know, clears everyone, uh, mm-hmm. As they finish, um, he, you know, you, you can see him on the video com and he explains this to you and he says, uh, I, I don't know what to do. It's, I mean, this doesn't meet the the requirements that were communicated. So um, I'll clear them if you want me to. Uh, let me take a look at that scan. I have a ability called uh-huh. analysis. Uh-huh. Okay. It says, you can roll for an observation to gain insight regarding strange and alien artifacts or creatures that you encounter and get a chance to study for at least one turn. Okay. For, for every so it turns, it turns, on, yeah, it turns at like an hour. So uh, you got two successes. All right. So, so, Wait, so did I roll? everything did roll? gets. Did I roll? Does that me? Oh, that was I'm me. Sorry. 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 That was me. Sorry. I didn't realize that that was. Uh, I, I'm sorry. That was you, Todd. I, observation, okay. I just um, accidentally clicked also, it. Also, we should stress down, I think. Yes, yes. Everybody should go down to one stress. Okay. I mean, zero stress, not one. That's <laughs> uh, stressful. Stress, the, stress, stress. You know, the stressful situation is over, and, you know, you've gotten plenty of rest. So, mm-hmm. you, um, if you start pushing when you have, you know, start encountering stuff on the uh, on the mother colony, then you deserve the stress that you get. So, when okay. you, once you've done that, Dune, go ahead and uh, roll you know, for uh, Yoko. All right, okay. two successes, the same, <laughs> same as yeah. Tad got. Yeah. Tad got. All right. So, uh, yeah. Is, so you, so I get to ask. Kind of, this, I get to ask questions. So for each success, but I don't know if you want to. Know that way. You no, that's great. Characters? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I was just going to kind of explain that, you know, this takes you uh, like a good hour or so sitting down and, and analyzing this and doing some comparisons uh, between the th- like the records of what uh, Dr. Bircher found. And uh, yeah, so go ahead and ask your questions. Um, my two questions are going to be, how old is it? Like, how long has it been affecting this person? Would I be able to determine that? Um, it's very difficult. Sorry. You would, <laughs> yeah, you would probably. I mean, you probably estimate that, uh, based off of the quantity of this and the reaction 
like the uh, the rate at which you see it uh, yeah. multiply in a system and the speed at which his uh, immune system responds to it. Mm-hmm. Um, it's probably been here for several years okay. uh, and his body has become much more uh, adept to fighting it off as you uh, suspect it probably was when he first got, you know, infected or whatever terminology yeah. Yeah. you would use. So he's had this, you said he's had this a couple of years. Yes. Um, okay. Do I know what, col- like, does his record show what colony he comes from? This is not one of my questions. <laughs> Just... Um, if you want Kip to f- try to figure that out, uh, we can use his observation role oh, yeah. to, to do that. But that, you mean that's the one I already did? Actually, yeah, the one you already did. Oh, let's take that's the one not, did, yeah. yeah, that's <laughs> not... Um, that, that's not a valid question for, you know, for use yeah, of your ability. Was, yeah, that's aside from that. Okay, the other question I have is what problems could it cause? Meaning, how is this affecting this man? Like, is he going to die? Is he getting worse? Is he... Um, like what problems gonna cut? Like, um, is it slowly gonna consume him, or like, can I tell any of those things? You, I mean, your sus. I mean, this is you don't know this for a fact, but your suspicion is that his body has gotten this under control. Okay. Uh, and the only risk of contamination would be if there was some sort of blood transfusion, or he bled all over someone's open wound, or something okay. like that. Or fluid um, transfer eventually, some kind of yeah. fluid stuff. Okay. Uh, it, it's uh, th- there's no, you know, th- there's no mechanism that, like, for contagion. Um, you know, he's not he's not coughing, he's not uh, sneezing or anything like that, uh, and it is not. There's no record of it uh, of him exhaling it when he breathes. It's strictly in his. Uh, in the system, like his bloodstream. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Okay, well, based on what we can determine here, I'd say that probably Dr. Bircher, while you're taking care of um, following up on your research on the specimens that we've collected from Gorham, I suggest that you also study this and see what you can learn about it. Um, I'll, you know, uh, and for this, for this person, you know, I guess we're trying to, we're, I'm, I'm hoping I'm talking to Dr. Bircher right now. I'm hoping that you'll be able to come up with something that would help, you know, maybe, uh, something that'll help keep any, any side effects or symptoms, uh, minimal so that this person, and so that this person can continue to live their life and hopefully not you know hopefully their life will be fine i'm treating this like a like a like a bodily like fluid virus disease (laughs) okay Okay. um so uh what was the the question that we're going to use my uh observation for uh what colony is there any record of what colony that this person is from Okay, that's what I want to call me. And is there? Uh, so you start going through the records that you can find. Mm-hmm. Uh, it takes quite a bit of time. But you are able to determine that this person is from something referred to as the Pelican Colony. And you don't have a record uh, in, in, you know, the assignments that you've seen that, um, you know, tells you what, you know, what planet or uh, this colony is on. Mm-hmm. Uh, but you suspect that you might be able to get that if you, uh, you know, had access to a, a, a terminal down either in the governor's office or... You know that you might be granted access to it if you spoke with the uh, liaison uh, for the expeditions. Hmm. 
Okay. Well, I'm not seeing. I'm just writing this down. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> So we have no record of where this pelican colony is. So, all right. So it's not in our assignments. We have one more. We have one more uh, planet system to visit, anyways. Oh, okay. I, I is that correct? We have one more. We had three options from the beginning, and then is that right, John? Yes. Yep. That's right. Okay. So, I mean, I'm not sure how you much... I, I imagine we'll probably just go out to our third assignment, although it will be quite... I think it's a little bit of a different assignment. Oh, I can see the Pelican Colony. I was looking at the map. I was assuming I found it. I found it. Where? It's in the middle, like uh, down... Oh, there it is. Okay. Down from our... What are you looking at? Oh, you see. Oh, oh, there. okay. All right, yeah, yeah. So we'll say you do have access to it. Oh, okay. Uh, sorry, I didn't, I didn't realize that we were... Um... We were looking at the, the map with all the labels. Uh, so, yes, that is a bit for, I mean, it's not as far as the Dillon, uh, the Dillon colony mm -hmm. that you came from, uh, but it's a good distance. So it's, um, um, it's what, not. Uh, well, what we should do is find out if, if any, um, you know, basically like, let's just, let's just report our, our findings and then find out if any. If there's any ties or or um, uh, communication with the Pelican Colony, maybe the other recon ship went there, or maybe um, the Pelican Colony sent like a transmission, or if we have any information about it from the Mother Colony since we started these missions. And maybe they haven't, which is re like expected, or would be would not be surprising if nobody had made contact with them yet. At least we can yeah, check with, last time. with what's been happening with the mother colony. Right. Um, yeah, so I don't have anything else. I just want to you know, turn, submit our reports and and we can, I mean, while we're while we're reporting back, we can also ask about the Pelican colony. Because if, okay. if there's anyone in the mother colony from Pelican colony, that would be very interesting. Anyone else? Anyone uh, in the mother colony like, that like, was like, from the that was from there? I think yeah, like if it. the other, if the other, you know, how we 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 went on two missions, right? And we brought people back. Oh, oh, times. okay. I see what you're saying. Yes, okay. I understand what you're saying. Uh, all right. So you uh, head down from the Ilyanla down into the mother colony. I'll activate that map. And it sounds like you want to go to the governor's office and turn it over your report. Yep. And uh, is there anything you want to withhold or change in your report from what you actually encountered? What did we, uh, did, did we give them the whole truth and nothing but the truth? I think that's For the first, mission. the first one, yes. Yeah, the Zillin colony, but not we the held something out. What did we hold? Let me just run the seat here. Uh, I don't have it. I don't have the note. Right. I'm trying to remember. Yeah. We didn't leave out the crash ship. Um, did, did we leave out the fallen angel, destroying angels, and all that stuff? The creatures? Um, you just found out about that. And the, mm. the destroying the, angels, it was in the letter that you got for this, that's right, okay. for the, uh, for the Dylan colony. I'm, uh, I'm asking... Did we talk? Did we? Did we mention the egg pod? That we—that's this report. 
Yes, that's this report as well. That, so the only the only report that you've turned over is for the Gorham Colony, which was where those two families were yeah. living that were yeah. you know that arguing with each other. Mm -hmm. You guys encountered the uh, you know th those uh, invisible creatures uh, in the middle of the night that yeah. uh, you had to uh, run from in the jeep. There was the like flying insects that attacked you uh, out in the open. There was the worms that you encountered inside of the, the spilt black liquid that was in the mining shaft. Uh, and then uh, apparently there was some, you know, some one of these families, members of these families killed another one, uh, like years before you even arrived. Um, and uh, they were trying to make peace with that, and but seemed to still hold some hostilities towards one another. Uh, so that's those are the the, the major thing. Oh no! And then the, there's the fact that um, some of you got the black worm on you, even though it didn't seem to infect you. But you all went through the decontamination process. Um, so that's all that was all that was really in the first report um maybe we left out the whole i mean i don't know if this is true um did we turn in emily quintana no we didn't we still have her on our crew yes so maybe that's what you're thinking of that you didn't that, we can, you, we can you, say we didn't, like, we just didn't report her for that, but I don't know. Okay. Well, why wouldn't no. Like, why wouldn't we? Yeah, okay. I, I'm, I'm comfortable saying we just we just are being completely straightforward with, our, with all our reporting. But I don't remember. I, I have a feeling like we, like we did hold something back, but I don't know what it was, so... Hmm. Yeah. No big deal. No big deal. I don't Let's, so in this one, yeah. we're not going to hold anything back. We're just going to be completely open, uh, express fully our um, interaction and our um, and our uh, impression of Mother Michaela, including the um, refugee reports that she had like body modification somehow and whatever else like that. I think as far as the actual interpersonal reaction um the only one of us who interacted with her was uh dr bircher is that right that's right yeah so so as far as that goes if dr bircher wants to include in his report any per you know direct personal impressions that's up to him but but uh, but at least from our perspective i don't want to hold anything back it's it, about the state i mean i think the the, the biggest deficit of our report is probably that we didn't spend a lot of time at the air purifier no we didn't, we didn't spend any time at the air at purifier. Yeah. No, at yeah. processing. <laughs> so like we know yeah. that it's not working we know that or we have been told at least we didn't really go do readings or anything but we've been told that the city itself or the colony itself is uninhabitable due to whatever um noxious uh, output air. is coming from the <laughs> purifier, pure, right? Pure air. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so all that would be in the report. Um, uh, okay. Well, and and also basically the the history of these refugees, as expressed by them, and as and and all their documentation, which I'm sure we didn't have a full time to go through it all but i think that we would submit it all to the mother colony um government to, you know all okay. those all that okay. artifact stuff like we would probably just turn it over to them and and um let them sort through it and complete the record keeping all right so why don't uh since we want to we want to um, 
have an opportunity for for Dell to to tell us what Doctor Bircher is going to communicate about Mother Kay- Michaela. Right. Let's say that you guys are going to turn your report over. Then we can open it up to figure out what you're going to do, and we can address that with Dell when he comes back next time. Okay. Um, okay. All right. I, so, I am, so who do we meet when we turn in our reports? I'm just curious. Uh, so you, you, the person that the governor has designated responsible for managing all of the, like all four of the expedition, um, is Gaius, who is a, uh, he is a synthetic, uh, the same model as David from the, uh, the more recent alien movies. Mm-hmm. Um, so he is the person that has given you all of these assignments. You've had some interactions with him previously. Uh, and he is, uh, seems to be very by the books and is not, uh, particularly interested in non expeditionary discussions. Hmm. That's your impression of him. <laughs> All right. So uh, I assume that you guys spent some time compiling this report. Uh, are you including like copies or an overview of all of the documents that you reviewed that uh, Vikandi had on him about the uh, refugees that you've rescued? My opinion is that we don't return them to Jakandi and do deliver the original copies to the mother colony to 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 Gaius here. Here's here's our reports. Okay. And here's our duffel bags full of uh, t- paper records. Supporting documentation. Yeah. <laughs> exhibit, okay. exhibit A through uh, triple Z. All right. So it sounds like uh, although your report is probably on a you know, uh, a, a high tech data pad. Uh, there is all of these physical documents that you're lugging around with you. Uh, you kind of make your way to the governor's office. Uh, that it is incredibly less busy than it was last time you were here while they were trying to coordinate their fight against the, the general. Mm-hmm. Uh, but there still are security guards. At every door, which is more than what was here when, you know, when you first left. I mean, when you first arrived down on the colony, it seemed a little more uh, hospitable. Uh, And now there's an an intimidating large men and women in full body armor with pulse rifles uh, slung over their shoulders. Uh... The no one seems to kind of acknowledge you as you come in, other than, um, you know, the the brief uh looks you get from these guards as you pass through each door that they're responsible for. Uh, you can see that Gaius uh looks through his office window, looks busy uh at a computer terminal. So I assume that you had it across the office uh, yeah. and open the door. Are you not? Yeah. Uh, no, I don't and know. he doesn't Just open the door. <laughs> he doesn't. <laughs> he, he, yes, he, he does oh, not man. acknowledge you as you enter. Oh, okay. Uh, clear my throat. <laughs> <laughs> oh. And he looks up and says, oh, it is the crew of the Solovetsky Island. I hope you bring good news on your colony investigation. Do you have uh, your report ready? I look at Yoko. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, I, I, uh, very good news indeed. I uh, hand over a data pad or whatnot, and I uh, say the the... the while while not in the operable state 
that the villain colony um, pro uh, that we would have hoped for. Uh, it does seem like a good number of colonists are surviving there, even though um, the city center itself may be uninhabitable. <laughs> so, at, so as you you know, as you're explaining this and turn over the data pad. Uh, you can see he, he places it down on his desk and starts flipping through it very, very quickly. Oh, yeah. uh, and you can see his eyes, you know, running back and forth as he reads all of this. And he seems to finish just before you finish your sentence, <laughs> your, your last sentence. Perfect. And he looks up at you and says, this is all that you accomplished while you were there. Uh, these refugees, uh, I assume that you brought them with you? They're in processing now. Mm -hmm. Yes. That's good. Uh, perhaps they can fill in some of these very large gaps that you left on the condition of the colony itself. As you can imagine, we have the manpower that we would need... Uh, so the survival of the previous colonists is kind of secondary to what we're trying to achieve, but uh, it is nice to know that the air processing or the atmosphere processor is still uh, fully intact, if not fully operational. Uh, but there does seem to be some pacification that's necessary with these uh, Devolved creatures inside of the jungle. Well, I, can see that. I will. I will add this to the coordination for uh, for the expansion of the mother colony into these others, and we will prioritize it as necessary. And he looked at, at the giant, you know, uh, <laughs> containers of, of paperwork that you have with you, and he says, "May I ask what this is?" And he gestures to these these things that you have, like, you know, your arms wrapped around and you're carrying. Uh, <laughs> they probably weigh about 15, 20 pounds each. And you... These are the, these are the uh, invaluable relics, uh, as stated in the, you know, section B of the report. Um, the colonists have, have preserved what they could from wherever they came. The, re the refugees have preserved what they could from wherever they came from. And uh, there's no doubt precious information and uh, valuable recon on where, on other colonies here within this collection. Uh, of course, we haven't had enough time to um, oh, we review all of it, but with the speed you read, I'm sure you'll uh, handle it just fine. <laughs> and he just stares at you with your you know, semi-anti-synthetic uh, <laughs> comment. He says, you can place them down. I will have some of my assistants process that. Uh, I'm sure some of the information may prove itself valuable. Uh, the rest can be turned over to the uh, refugee processors to determine what information will be relevant in order to get them in some sort of position where they can contribute to our efforts. Right. Okay. Well, that's good. All right. Uh, thank you very much. I yes. Yes. Do we, um, shall we continue on to our next uh, assignment then, guys? Uh, I believe it's the oh, goodness gracious colony. Um. <laughs> the goodness gracious colony. The goodness gracious. So colony. It, it is. It is not actually a colony. Uh, it is a, a planet that is uh, is very Earth-like and is the possible establishment of a new colony. Ah, okay. Uh, oh, okay. The, the uh, world, there, maybe. there is a small, there's a small outpost there, but there is no colony, uh, and. That is, you're you're expected to assess it for 
uh, a large investment by the mother colony due to its Earth-like atmosphere. Uh, and you're supposed to communicate whether you feel it is as suitable as the initial analysis deems it to be. Okay, very good. I think this will this will be a uh, this will be a good mission for us. We've uh, had a lot of progress, uh, you know, with humanitarian aid to these uh, to these you know poor colonies that need our help. But you know, this uh, you know as a scouting mission, we could use some optimism. <laughs> yeah. Well, I'm. Oh, go ahead. God, no. oh, go ahead. I was, I was just agreeing. Uh, yeah, let's let's get uh, out there. So Gaius, Gaius, Gaius doesn't seem, uh, you know, too uh, inspired by what what it is, that, you know, what what you just said. But mm-hmm. he says, yes, you should uh, finish this initial batch of colonies because we do have more. Uh, the progress of the other teams has been. Uh, slightly slower than yours. So I am impressed with how quickly you can achieve what, looking at your report again, it says what limited information you are able to provide. And he says, if that, if you have another further questions, I do have work I need to get back to. Well, then, yeah. Are all, are all four of the um, crews in act in uh in uh, operation now now that uh things have settled down yes uh one left shortly before you arrived back here uh the other have been gone slight he looked at some uh some information on one pad is slightly longer than we anticipated we are hoping that they will arrive within the next few days Thank you for the update, Gaius. Um, of course. And, and is there still no progress on finding uh, General Ozolinsky? Ozolinsky. Oh, uh, uh, I'm. I'm not actively involved in that F investigation, but last I heard, they were searching uh, the lower levels for some potential hiding places that he may be being hidden by some of his loyalists. Very good. It's good to hear that things have calmed down around here. Yes. That, yes, uh, it was quite yeah. disturbing to our efforts uh, over the past week, uh, previous two weeks. Uh, I'm sure you'll, uh, you'll capture him in due course. I have full confidence in the governor and her efforts. Good. As do I. As do I. Um, so this uh, new colony, or I guess new colony investigation, uh, what is the name of the planet, the, the system that it's in? Uh, how long is it going to take us to get there? Do you know? Uh, uh, it should be approximately an eight-day travel from here. Uh, it is a relatively small outpost known as the May Outpost. The what? Uh, it say? was a, the May Outpost. The May Outpost. As in... The month? It was... A, yes. The, the, the month. <laughs> okay. <laughs> he seems... He seems like this is a very uh, trite way of, re- of referring to it, but uh, the he goes on to say uh, it is established by the Three World Empire, uh, and it was a small military base mm. uh, that was uh, established approximately 100 years ago, and. Uh, the records suggest that it had uh, 90 million people on it at first, but there are significantly less now. Or significant, I'm sorry, significantly less when last reported. 
90 million originally? Yes. <laughs> uh, wait, wait, the 90 million people, they were Third World Empire colonists? Uh, Three World Empire military. Uh, Three World Empire military. It was uh, a Royal Marine base. Uh, in addition to that, uh, it had some small mining facilities and a electronics production plants. So I assume most of those 90 million people were uh, civilians employed in those various sectors. And so when you say significantly less, how many are we talking? Um, there may be as little as two to three hundred thousand at this point. So, what happened? I guess that's why we're. We going. don't know. And that's why you're going. <laughs> okay. Okay. I got a bad feeling about this, Yoko. I'm optimistic. You always are optimistic. All right. Well, I think uh, I think maybe then if we're done here, we need to get the uh, get the ship ready. Uh, make sure we've cleaned out all the refugees off the ship, um, and make sure that we're provisioned for this next uh, next journey. Reboot our uh, makeshift cryo cryo chambers because we'll probably use them to bring home more people. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Bravo. Yeah. Well, no two to three hundred thousand, that's for sure. Well, maybe, How old maybe. is this? Oh, wait, I gotta ask Gaius one more piece of information before I leave. Sure. How old is this information you've just given us? Uh, <laughs> the last report is 75 years old. So, by the last report, they were down to two to three hundred thousand. Yeah, that means they're one yes. generation later. Okay, all right. <clears throat> two generations? One generation? Um, yeah, it's like two I guess 40 or 50 years or something. Yeah. Okay, so 70 years ago, he said, roughly. All right. Yeah, we're probably going to find a lot less than that, I, I imagine. Uh, okay. Hopefully it's more than nine. Hopefully. <laughs> all right. Um, so, uh, all right. Yeah. Do, yeah. Do, you want, do you want us to come up with more things to do in the mother colony? <laughs> uh, that's pro yeah, that's, that's probably best that, you know, we, we at least have give Dell an opportunity to, um, you know, to state what Dr. Berter, you know, turned over and, or found out from the research team and then mm -hmm. turned over in his report. And we can address that uh, either retroactively or uh, so before as, you guys head off. So as Yoko, I am a little bit interested in following up on the UPP and the rebellion and okay. uh, finding out from some of these like uh, reintegrated uh, UP for, you know, Former UPP, former uh, rebel soldiers, <laughs> um, mm -hmm. right? Like so, so similar to the to the same group of people who I turned in from the Ilanya. Um, yeah, I know that there was a faction down here fighting, and maybe uh, so. So basically, I am a little bit interested in Ozelinski. Um, I know I had my own personal conflicts with Ozelinski. But, and I don't really care where he is that much, but I do want to know what the sentiment of the UP, former UPP people are on the Mother Colony. So if that's something we want to explore, I, Yoko would sure. be interested in that. All right. Uh, Todd, what does um, Kip, what is, is he interested in that? Does he want to do something else? Uh, I, I, I mean, if we're going to be spending a little bit of time here, uh, I, I'd like to find Bozolinski myself. Oh. You know. <laughs> okay. I think that would put us in uh, 
in the uh, even greater graces of the of the governor. Yeah. So, if possible, yeah. I don't know. Okay. I I, I mean right. that's not I'm not a security guy, you know, but uh, right. You know, I mean, you can find him with your mechanical. Knowledge. My observation yeah. powers. I will observe and, for I you. mean, don't don't forget about your crew. Your crew. You have Hamada with you, who is a seasoned marine. Mm -hmm. So you could uh, you could rely uh, on her for any uh sure sure. Know, well, I'll, uh, yeah, I'll wet work. Grab uh, <laughs> network. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Hamana, Hamana. And uh, yeah, all right. Every time you say Hamada, I want to say Hamana, 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 Hamana. It's, it's a good name. It's a strong name. It's a strong name. <laughs> all right. I guess the I guess the question is since uh, you know it, it it sounds like Kip might be um, more interested in bringing. Uh, like Ozolinski to justice yeah. in comparison to what Yoko is trying to do. Are you guys going to do that? Collaborate, or are you going to perform your efforts separate from one another? No, I'm, I'll, I'm not because we're gonna... my intentions. I'll tell. I'll tell. You know. I'll tell um, Windows exactly what I just said, which is that I want to find out what I want to get a sense for how the UPP folks are doing. All right. Well, why don't we do that? And I mean, if this spills over into the next session, and then we've got a, a handle or, or or turn to uh, Dr. Bircher, right? Then we can kind of go back and forth, you know. But we can focus okay. on, on 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 what you want to do right now. That's fine with me. Okay. Yeah. Let's go together. You can come with me. I, I'm not suspicious of you for like wanting for being. Wanting something that's crossed with my purposes, I'm just uh, uh, so I'll I'll tell you like, hey, I think I, you're welcome to come with me and like help with the with with you know I want to go find out what's going on, but I'm sure that I I feel pretty confident that some of these UPP folks would prefer to talk to another former UPP person if they just just so they can be honest with me and not be suspicious that this is some kind of government shakedown. <laughs> so I am not to mention at all that I might be interested in tracking down <laughs> Bozo Linsky. <laughs> uh, if that's if that's your interest, uh, I you know, we, we we can we can cross that bridge when we come to it. But so I, I, I'm not quite so sure that that's in a, uh, in everyone's best interest at this moment. All right. Well, you know what? This is why I, I think we'll go. We'll go with what you got. You know, and then you know, depending on how the feeling, the sentiment is there, what information we find out. All right, then that'll uh -huh. make my mind up about whether to go. You know, after I actually, him. I actually am. I mean, um, Windows. I'm, I'm probably in favor of um, turning Ozolinski in. But I need to know how the people feel first. They are my they are my priority. Yeah, okay. All right. So I'm I'm all right. I'm all right with that, you know. You want to do that. Cause cause I, so I think I that know. I mean from what I the impression I got was that Ozolinski was acting out of line. Like that that's how I feel about what he did. So That's uh, the impression I got. And we can't have that kind of uh Yeah. Yep, yep. Yeah. Um, so maybe we can head down to the shopping area and see if we can see find some of our old, my old colleagues or I don't know if I know anyone, my nephew. My nephew. <laughs> uh, so you so <laughs> just, could you just kind of clarify like you are you just going to try to find some like everyman UPP people and yeah, or are you trying to actually weird. track down the people that you uh, that you escorted off the Ilion one. Um, okay, so so the uh, not the people that I escorted uh, off the Ilion. I, I assume they're either in detention or in re rehabilitation already. I okay. am looking for people who I think are in the like reintegration program, and the people who are um, being suspected of harboring. Um, Oh, Zelensky, like those people specifically, right? So maybe what we should do is just like maybe what we should do is track like f shadow the 
um, the government shakedown folks who are searching for Ozolinsky. And then um, maybe they, you know, when we see that they have evacuated the area or where we have an opportunity, talk to some of the UPP folks that they, um, you know, may have uh, been interested in. So I think that's what we okay. can do. We should follow the the crew of like thugs who are going to try to like <laughs> I don't know if there's actually thugs. I don't know how the, whatever the process is because I know that there's some process going on by which the government's trying to find Ozolinsky. Right. Right. Okay. All right. So, so we're shadowing we... them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So why don't we have uh, one of the two of you do an observation role? Okay. And uh, this, so what this will entail is uh, basically determining who the uh, security team is investigating and what their, you know, the reactions of everybody that they talk to and who it is that, you know, might actually know something that the guards either are or are not picking up on. Um, and then we can we can take it from there based off of your role. Cool. Um, my, my so strong. Each, so each success is Two going minutes. to give you is going to give you one piece of information as you observe the guards go from area to area, uh, talking to people. So the areas that is primarily taking place are areas six, seven, and eight. So there's a uh, uh, the lower the ground level. So uh, there's the the level. garage and maintenance area. Can you guys not see the map? Yes, we see it. Oh, garage and maintenance. Oh, okay. All right. Good. I thought... Cut out. Yes. Okay. So oh. that so, so it's basically the center of the map. Okay. Six, oh. seven, and eight. So the gr oh, the garage God. and maintenance area, yep. the shopping plaza, and then there's a bar and karaoke uh, area right inside, right off of the shopping plaza. All right. So who's is a uh, is it? You said Yoko's going to do the roll. I'll, I'll roll. I have a really good observation. It's like super good. All right. You got one success. Do you want to push? Yes. Oh gosh! Right. Really? Got no more successes. Uh, this is stressful. So you, uh, you know, you you're watching, uh, you know, watching the guards, keeping your distance. Uh, and in the maintenance section, uh, you can see that they have uh, gathered up what looks like all of the, you know, the technicians and, and repairmen and, and stuff and that and are addressing them all as a group. Uh, and while you, you know, they are seem to be grilling them for information. Uh, their supervisors are there. They seem to be consulting with them. Uh, you do notice that one of the men looks very nervous. Uh, you see him eyeing all of the, the exits to the north and south. No, uh, and he lo it looks like he may be thinking about running. Are the... Um... Uh, are None the, of the, the oh let me let me just okay. let me just say one other thing. Uh the guards do not seem to be picking up on that. That was my question. <laughs> there's, there's about there's about there's about fifteen or twenty of them, uh plus three supervisors that they're talking to. Okay, cool. Okay. Uh, so no one's no one's picking up on this. Why why don't we do this? Uh, why don't we do this with us? Why don't you? Uh, I'll, or you or one of us creates a, dis a distraction, and then so a window basically for a uh, wink wink for this, for, for yeah. this person for this person to run, and the other person stands at the exit and just grabs them when they run. <laughs> we can talk Oops. to them. <laughs> Oops. Yeah. Okay. I like that. Okay. See. So who's gonna do what? Uh, Which do you uh, prefer, Windows? Oh, well, uh, gosh. Close combat? I, I was, uh... Yeah, I know. Me neither. <laughs> no, no. I've got some, but I mean, you know, it's uh, actually, it's, yeah, it's not, it's not my worst thing. 
It's not my best thing, but it's not my worst thing. So I, I could do that. I could okay. kind of, you know, stand manipulation, by that. Manipulation is my worst thing, but I'm happy to do it. I have done. I, yeah. No. Um, that, I imagine that's what it... Well, I guess I could choose a different tactic. What should I do to create this window? Ah. Uh, hmm. Command. Oh, command. Well, you know, like, like try and rile the crowd up, you know, like, like with your commanding presence. I mean, Say that's something that's going to make this guy even more nervous, you know, and, uh, you know, make him. Oh, you're run right. Because you need to make him more nervous, right? Because he's on, right? the, on the edge of running. We got to make him. He's run. on the edge. You got to, you got to put him over the edge. Okay. Okay, fine. I'll just go talk to these guards. Um, You're going to talk to the guards? Talk, okay. Talk to the guards? Yeah. So what I want to do is vocally talk to them about how upset I am. Like, basically, I mean, I should have to do the thing. <laughs> do the thing and not just describe what I'm doing. <laughs> uh, um, let me think for a second. Okay, so... Um, just to be clear, so where are we? Are we in six here? And there's a, is that where we are? Yes. You're out, You're just outside the doors south of six. We're outside the doors south of six. There's north exit yes. and the south exit. There's um, there's there's a person sitting on the like you know on her knees or whatever. Like all the all the technicians are, uh, like lined up in the they're middle. Just, yeah. Well, they're like in a big crowd. Okay. Uh, and then there's the, guard, a, the guards. That and the guards, there's guards at each exit or something? No, the guards are, like, standing between those, uh, that crowd and some supervisors where they seem to be, like, you know, asking various questions and uh, kind of checking with the supervisors to verify their answers and whether they corroborate. Uh, okay, so but, what I'm going to uh, do is I'm going to... I'm yeah, there's tell... only four guards there. Okay, I'm gonna tell Windows, "Hey, look, I'm gonna fu I'm gonna try to get him to run out the bottom." Okay. Or uh, run out the south exit. So stand by the door and be ready. Uh, and then I'm gonna go. I'm gonna walk around. So I'll go around the um, outside to the north exit, and I'll enter okay. in this way. And my plan is, I enter with authority, and I say, <laughs> you know, like. Um, I'm going to approach um, the group and, you know, address the guards who are doing whatever they're doing. And I'm right. going to, you know, say, um, have you have you found Ozolinsky yet? As I approach, see what they say. Uh, they kind of uh, look at each other because they're not quite sure. Like, they're looking for confirmation from any one amongst them as to who, who if I they am. know who you are. <laughs> uh, but none of them seem to. Uh, one speaks up and says, uh, no, sir, we're, uh, we're continuing our, our search down here. Uh, we're making sure that none of these technicians uh, are, are involved in, and possibly hiding him. Well, which one is the, well, which one of them is hiding him? And I, you know, I like look around and I like, you know, spend a moment on each of them, making sure that I scare the Jesus out of the, um, the, the nervous one. Um, All right. Give me the command roll. Okay. And I, you know, I'll say like, you know, I was on the Ileana and I took care of the resistance force there. You know, what are you guys doing? I'm acting like I, like I belong, but we'll see. <laughs> Mike's so weak. Uh, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna push. All right, you're gonna push. Hey, oh, we did hey, it. Hey, yes. All right. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I mean, you look. You, you know, you you start kind of uh, trying to throw your throw your weight around a little bit, and and uh, at first you're not getting. 
any sort of reaction. Uh, but then you were reiterate uh, about the fact that you rounded up uh, the re rebels on the Ilyanla and personally turned them over to the governor. And so the, that seemed to get the guards' attention. And as you start like eyeing each of the uh, the technicians and sizing them up, you can feel the eyes on uh, the the guards' eyes, like you know, doing the same. Uh, as you get to this nervous guy, uh, you uh, kind of you know lean into it, knowing that you're trying to get him to go. And you uh, kind of command it, like tell one of the guards, like, I want to talk to this one. And that is, you know, that gets the result that you were looking for. <laughs> and he turns and, uh, you know, decides to run south because you came in from the north uh, and is going to have to try to escape the clutches of the guards before he gets out the door. So give me just one moment as I'm going to do two rolls uh, for each of the guards. Here are... Oh, here it is, the miscellaneous ones. All right. So this is going to be the role for the mobility role for the guard. Thank you. Haha, good job, guard. Loser. <laughs> All right. And sorry, there are so many of these <laughs> in PCs. <laughs> I'm just looking for one that's appropriate for your, the technicians. Uh, I don't have like any generic stuff. Um, yeah, just use whatever Kayla. <laughs> All right, I'm just going to do this. This guy. This is the closest one. Okay. Uh, all right uh so that means that this is going to they're not going to he's not going to catch him uh but the guard is going to be in view when he go like he's going to see him in a sight so there's a possibility that kip you know may have to deal with this guard when he tries to get, uh, get this guy <laughs> All oh, right. Well, so he's wait. okay. So now I don't want to make this look like I want to make this look like a total accident. But okay. They're trying to get him, right? So right. you yeah. trip the guard. They're they're coming. <laughs> so they're coming straight towards you. You know, they don't necessarily see you. Mm -hmm. uh, you're but you can see, day. you know, you can see this guy that you know was looking nervous is running, and there's a guard, a single guard chasing him down, uh, and. You know, uh, Yoko and the the other three guards, uh, the other three guards, or Yoko sees the other three guards just trying to control the situation and, uh, you know, make sure that the rest of them don't, you know, make a run for it during the commotion. Right. Oh, now. All wait, right. Hold on. Now, I'm, now I know. I, I think I got confused here. Are we, are we trying to stop him or are we trying to get him on his own away from these guys? It's up to you. I was imagining we would we would we would interrogate him ourselves, like. But, oh, okay. Right, like because also because I'm a I'm UPP, right? So like I could I could play off to the person who knows where Zelensky is, like, hey, I'm on your side. That's kind of what I'm imagining, but but it's up to you how you want to handle it because I yeah. wasn't ex I wasn't ho I was hoping that the guard would not be in hot pursuit, right? So that you could get them isolated, but if they're in pursuit, I don't know how to deal with the guard. That's up to you. Yeah. I, uh, yeah, I'm just going to try to take him just, down because I can't just, see him. You can just try to throw a bag over his head so that he, so that he can't see that you can... 
True. True. Uh, okay. Well, yeah, but the guards are going to be there anyway. So if I stop them, they're going to get. Or all how... only one guard is in pursuit. Is that right? That's right. The other guards uh, are with me, like handling the the crowd of people on the ground or whatever over here. Okay, but I've only got one move. It's either take him or let him go and deter the guard. I see. You only have one move. Yeah. And then try and catch up with them. You know what I mean? But if we let him go, he's gone. Oh, boy. There's only so many places you can go, right? Yeah, you're right. You're right. You know what? I'm not going to range combat after that anyway, so I can just... <laughs> you just shoot him. <laughs> shoot him in the back. <laughs> <laughs> take, take out the old Armat M41A pulse rifle and you know, <laughs> get him in the leg. <laughs> uh, okay, no, no, no. Oh gosh. All right. You know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna. Yeah, we, we might be able to find this guy again. Okay, so I'm going to make it look like an accidental. Oops, I'm sorry. Uh, and uh, pardon me. <laughs> pardon me. And. Uh, Maybe trip the guard. Oh boy. Here we go. All right. I don't <laughs> see anything. I uh, don't you see got anything. Dice got zero results. So I'm going to push, I guess. Here. Here All right. Go. Oops. <laughs> No. No, no, no. No, no. no successes. No. Uh, all right. So, Nimble yeah, guard. I mean, you let this guy go. Mm -hmm. uh, and, you know, you kind of, uh, you, you do run into the guard, but it yep. doesn't, like, knock him over. He kind of stumbles a little bit and right. looks back and says, watch where you're going, asshole. <laughs> and, and he kind of, you know, gathers his momentum again and, and continues uh, off after this guy. Uh, you can try to, can, you know, pursue, keep up with them. Uh, they seem to be heading uh, down in this direction. Okay. Uh, down. Okay. All right. I got to step out here for a moment, but I will be right oh, back. Sure. 8.30, so All set right. magic out. But I will be no right problem. back, yep. and I will be uh, pursuing you, okay? Hold on. Okay. Short break. Yep. Uh, yeah, that's fine. We, well, why don't we do that? Okay. BRB. All right, see you back in a few.
that's done. So we're good. We're back. Welcome back, guys. All right. So uh, it sounds like Kip is going to try to follow them yep. further south to, in the general direction of Area 9. Uh, what is uh, Yoko going to do soon? <laughs> I'm going to try to continue to, to, to boast to these guards about my accomplishments on the Il Anya. And meanwhile, I'm trying to like wink at these UPP people whenever I can sneak, <laughs> sneak one away. That's okay. that's all I'm doing. I'm just like talking to the guards, talking about how great I am and how how much how how well, good we are for stopping resistances. And then meanwhile, yeah, I'm trying to like I, so what I'm really trying to do is find an ally. Like I want to find someone. If there's anyone in this crowd who would be willing to talk to me, that's what I want to know. Okay. All right, so that definitely sounds like a manipulation role, but <laughs> yeah, okay, cool. uh, I do I do want to make one thing clear: is there are members of the UPP in this group, but this is not entirely composed of UPP people. That's fair. That's totally fine. Okay, totally. I'm same, okay, same same mission. I just like, to make... I, I'm I'm basically I'm I'm talking about I I just basically want to try to convey. If, this is the difficulty, right? The difficulty is I'm trying to convey simultaneously to the guards that I'm very much on their side and to the people that I'm very much on their side. <laughs> okay. So, uh, let's find out what happens with Kip before we figure that out. Be um, so, uh, are you just, is Kip just running after? Is, is he like in pursuit of the guard? Is he, is, is he more trying to figure out where the, is he trying well, to stop the guard, or is he I'm, just... I'm going to try and stop the guard. Um, actually, I guess... You already uh, tried I, to stop the guard. I know I already tried to stop him, but now he's ahead of me, right? Yeah. He's, yes. chasing, he's chasing this guy. So now, if i got to get this guy, I've got to have to take out the guard. Right? You could just fi find out where they're going. Well, well yeah, I, I could just follow for now. You know? Grab that rickshaw, or... You know, <laughs> how crowded is this area right now? Yeah, <laughs> uh, it's not as crowded as it usually is, uh, mm -hmm. because you know they kind of crack down a little bit on uh, people that are not as uh, inclined, I guess, to go into these socialized areas. So uh, it's not really packed, but I mean, there are people around that you would have to run around could potentially use. As obstacles, okay. if you want to. <laughs> All right. All right. Well, I will. Uh, I'll make my way and try and, uh, yeah, just keep keep my eye on, on where they are. Because if he does eventually track this guy down, then I'm gonna have to make my move against him. But, uh, yeah. Okay. So I am. Where, where is he gonna get cornered? Okay. Yeah. So why why don't you give me a mobility roll, and we will determine whether you're not able to keep up whether you can keep up and whether you might be able to position yourself in such a way that you can try to accomplish something yeah, towards your goal. Mobility. Yeah. Hey. All right. So you are definitely able to keep up. Okay. Um, so the choice, is, I mean, if you want to push, you could potentially get, put yourself into a position um, to either stop the guard or, uh, just let the guy get away and see where he goes. Uh, it's up to you whether you want to do that or just, you know, keep them in, in sight and figure out what to do later. It's up to you. Yeah, I'm just going to keep them in sight for the time being. Okay. All right. So then we'll come back to that yeah. and figure out and you can get a better sense for where they're going. And let's go back to Yoko. Um, so you are... Uh, you know, just rambling on about uh, how much you've contributed to uh, the the stopping of of the rebellion, and uh, but you are trying to, I guess, give a hint to some of the UPP members of this uh, this group of, of technicians that are being interrogated. Uh, that you may be an an ally in a important position that could mm -hmm. be a benefit to them. Mm -hmm. So why don't you give me a manipulation roll? And we'll 
figure out. Perfect. All right, so you got a success and a stress. Uh, you are going to see cover. Okay. Uh, so, uh, what's going to happen is you start to, uh, you know, you, there's one member, uh, a woman that's probably, she, she's definitely a, somebody that works with her hands. She's pretty muscular. Uh, I mean, it, you probably guess she's maybe in her late thirties. Uh, she's covered in grease, uh, but she is, um, uh, seems to be both impressed and receptive to your suggestions that the UPP, uh, might have some allies, uh, and she starts looking around and realizes that one of the guards seems to be getting suspicious of Yoko. Mm. And they, he starts talking to another guard and uh, it looks like he's about to come up and come up from behind Yoko and, you know, say something. Cause I mean, he has, he's starting to, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. He doesn't have his rifle ready and like pointed at you, but he has it like in an action position where he can respond with it if necessary. It's no yeah. longer over his shoulder. Yeah. Um, so uh, the guard or this woman uh, kind of, you know, <laughs> gestures with her eyeballs <laughs> that uh, someone is coming up from behind mm. Yoko. Um. Uh, so, so there's two guards who are kind of like talking to each other. No, uh, no, just just me. just one. Uh, you didn't see it, but uh, you know that this woman's gesturing that one of them is coming up from behind you. Okay, I I can understand her 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 gesture, and the guard who is who I am speaking with, right, like at the moment, I'll um, mm -hmm. I'll 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 say to them like, uh, oh, uh, and. And and what happened? And what of your colleague? Did they did they manage to track them down? Do you have a radio? And I'll and I'll um, like I don't know if I put my arm on their shoulder or if I, yeah, I probably do. I put my arm on their shoulder and I like walk with them, bringing them toward the south exit, away from the guard behind me. Hopefully, like just like we're we're actually leaving, but but I'm walking with a guard, talking to them, uh, to to okay. escape. I think is that fair? Okay. Um. Uh... Yeah, I'll 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 let that happen. So you are leaving the situation. So I'm going to say that that is yeah. You you're seeking cover, uh, and that kind of impromptu response, uh, without acknowledging the one that was behind you, you kind of look over your shoulder a little bit when mm -hmm. you uh, when you leave and see that you know they're just standing there. Uh, watching you leave, and then eventually get back to their interrogation of uh, of the others. Yeah. Um, and while you're walking out of the area number six, uh, th this guard that you're walking with is is trying to bring up, uh, you know, get the other guard on calm that ran away after uh, this technician that that looked nervous and ran off. Uh, eventually he does and says that he's in pursuit and <laughs> we're, I, this, this, this guy's fast. He, we're heading over in the direction of the shops and the food stalls. Uh, I'm still keeping up with him. I'll, I'll let you know when I get him. And he goes silence after that. Uh, you, as you're, I mean, you're leaving, I'm going to say that. Kip, I mean, they're everyone's gone. You you yeah. don't even see Kip uh, yeah. between, you know, all of the traffic and stuff in Area Seven. Uh, you can't see them, uh, but you are in communications with Kip. So you, I assume that he is keeping you up to date as to what he's doing. Is that correct, Don? Yes, I am. Yes. All right. So, Kip 
continues after the, uh, them. They go through this area of the food stalls in. Guard and, and you're easily able to uh, navigate around it and keeping up with the guard and this guy in the distance. Right. So you're about to exit out this uh, door, uh, which leads right. out of the food stalls and into like the general shop areas. These mm -hmm. are like all these things on the ground are like little stalls right. that are set up to sell things. Mm -hmm. um, so this is a fairly busy area uh, that probably, you know, it's going to have a lot of people in there that are going to be in the way because they're looking at all of these stalls and uh, making transactions and that sort of thing. So what do you want to do? Uh, okay, so uh, I could, I'm going to continue after my, I, yeah. Okay, you're just yeah. going to, you just want to see how this resolves out on mm. its own before you make yes. any decisions. Okay. Yes. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to since I'm just going to push these rolls just to re-roll them because they both got zero successes. Mm -hmm. uh, so the peacekeeper still has zero successes, and the technician is panicking. Okay, uh, they can't technically uh, panic. Right. But you got he's keeping it together. So I'm going to say that, you know, there's a brief moment uh, amongst some of these stalls, like uh, maybe up here where the the guy has no idea what to do. He's you know, he just sees an endless sea of stalls and people up ahead of him. Uh, and he has to think about it and then decides uh, to head up towards 10 in this way. Uh, and so, you know, 10 uh, is a bunch of like actual like buildings, like little sh like shops inside of rooms where this is like an open market. Okay. Uh, so 10 is, the shops are actually like in the perimeter of these walls here. Right. Uh, and there, there's a large open space uh, around it. Oh, okay. So there is, this could possibly, I mean, if he goes inside one of these shops, it's probably a dead end, uh, unless, you know, Oh, maybe okay. he knows unless, otherwise. Unless he knows that, well, there might be uh, service entrances in the rear. That's yeah. true. Okay. He's All right. definitely in one of these doors. Definitely. Okay. All right. All right. So you're going to just continue keeping up. You won't have to re-roll uh, okay. to keep up with them. Uh, but you just want to keep up observing? Yes. Yes. Okay. All right. Uh, so you follow the two of them as they're chasing each other up into 10. Uh, and you see the guard, I mean, I'm sorry, the technician go into a shop right here. Uh, and this shop uh, is selling is it's a repair shop uh, that you know from glancing at it it looks like that they just repair electronics and, and that sort of thing. Uh, you can see a bunch of like you know uh, retooled uh, data pads and entertainment devices and stuff in the windows as you approach the shop. The guard is obviously pursuing them into the shop. Uh, so you question whether or not he's going to get caught inside of there. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'm making Yoko aware of my position, and I will just I'll, I'll, I'll look in and see what's going on in there, like whether he's cornered him or whether he's gone out of back entrance or exit or whatever. Okay. So uh, as you, you know, you're, you're running to uh, approach the store or the shop to look inside and see what is going on. Uh, and that is when you see the guard stagger out backwards mm. 
mm. with a large jagged piece of metal sticking out of his abdomen between two pieces of his body armor. Yeah, oh shit. And he collapses on the ground and is, you know, there's blood and stuff coming out of his mouth as he's looking around, panicked for help for someone to, uh, you know, I gotta, save his I gotta, life, I gotta, basically. All right, all right, I gotta help him. I'll give okay. aid. I, I gotta let this guy go because, yeah, I, I didn't want this. All right. Uh, so, uh, you are you trained in medical aid? Well, uh, uh, as it is, I have a big fat zero in it. You know, you have a zero. Okay, that doesn't mean you can't do it. That just means you're not like carrying the. You don't have like a med pack with you or Let's something some like duct that. tape and <laughs> duct tape. No, <laughs> elbow it. grease. Yeah, I got some expanding foam here well, somewhere. But you might have a welder. You know, you might be able to to carterize it. Uh, a micro welder. Yes, yes, yes. This is gonna hurt, hurt you All more right, than hurt so, me. <laughs> so why don't? You... <laughs> Why don't you uh, do the medical aid roll, and we will see if you're managed to save this guy's life and, and stabilize him. I mean, you're you're not going to be able to patch him up or no, anything with it because no. you don't have anything no. to assist. But you may be able to save his life. And I'm going to tell you, um, stop the situation is we need to call in help. Oh, yeah. I'm, I'm like rushing over yeah. to you, or should I call? Or should I call? Like, I'm going to push. Ambulance. Gonna push. Right. Go for it. Go for it. Oh no! Oh, oh no! <laughs> uh, okay, oh, no. so yeah, you you are desperately trying to, um, you know, to, to to stop this guy's bleeding. Except you make the horrible mistake of pulling the metal out. That's what I was uh, going to say. <laughs> oh no. god! Uh, Anything and, but pull it out. Yeah. Yeah, and <laughs> that is that kind of sealed his fate because he was dead anyway. uh it, it was it was jagged uh and wide and oh, it yeah. was it was closing up a, a lot of arteries and veins and stuff just from its presence inside of there and when you remove it uh the blood literally squirts out all over you uh and That's covers funny. you know <clears throat> covers your your torso and your hands and everything uh you but you manage as it says you manage to keep it together uh and you try you know you start applying pressure and all of the basic things that you've picked up over the years but that wound was just too big and he bleeds out just as uh assistance is coming uh from the north uh covered there, in blood yeah yes so why don't we stop there? So mm -hmm. Nine oh two, and <laughs> we will hopefully Dell will be here next week. We can find out what Doctor Bircher was up to, yep. and we'll see if you can track down this guy and uh, cool. possibly this uh, this woman that Yoko made contact with uh, before he had to make a hasty exit. Blood. Even though it doesn't <laughs> make sense. Uh, yeah, uh, I mean, yeah, you don't know. Uh, you didn't actually see this guy stab him. You just saw his, you know, the guard stumble out. That's right. Uh, so with this thing in him, so you don't know if this guy's responsible. This but is definitely Zelensky's you, stab. You work. can, you, you can, <laughs> <laughs> you can assume that the guards think it's this guy. So yeah, um, yeah so we'll see what happens. I mean, as long as they don't think it's me. I've been just trying to think of a name for this data pad repurposing center. I can't think of a clever um, PRC. Data. Uh, how about uh, Data Shack? Data Shack. There you go. Yeah, data Shack. Shack. Great. Perfect. <laughs> Sounds nice. Good. All, All right. right. Sounds good. Well, thank, thank you very you. much. So, yeah. So. Uh, Everyone's good for next week. Yep. Or um, okay. Wait. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Oh wait. Hold do you have do you have hockey? Again.